Hello, in this video tutorial on C++ I want to introduce you to the dynamic memory allocation, actually dynamic memory handling. Ok, let me show you the basics. First of all you have to create a pointer which will point to the start address of the allocated memory. For example, int uh, it's a pointer, so int i equal to actually just declare it first so we just created a pointer, nothing really special but now we uh, new int so this will uh, this will allocate memory in the free storage so it will be not it will not be deleted until you delete it manually so you can easily apply to new uh, values to that you can write it out if you want but there is one thing you have to uh, care about so uh, you have to delete it after the delete it after the usage so delete i all right let's compile our program and run it so g plus plus first the cpp and now run the program and r really nothing special you can see here as a usual uh, dev, uh, as a usual as you as you usually declare variables just more lines you find okay let's make a function get int function and this will this will uh, create a variable and pointer j actually and uh, use a new int so it will allocate memory in the free storage and now we set it to something 12 for example and then return with j although in a normal point in case of a normal pointer it will give a disastrous uh, awful and uh, everything bad uh, uh, result because you would uh, return uh, a pointer to a local value and the local value may be destroyed and used by the other programs uh, after this scope so after the function but in this case it is very spatial because it's allocate memory in the free storage and because it's allocate memory in the free storage it uh, it will not delete it after the scope so let's make a, a pointer k and make it equal to get int function uh, return actually we don't return with an integer we return with an integer pointer I almost forget it and then write it out ok and then delete decay ok run compile and run the program and we don't want to the address of it we want to actual uh, value all right you can see it's right out the value even we are out of scope the get in function all right you can even declare entire array with this so create an integer pointer name it array and then uh, make it equal new in and make it equal 100 element array simple enough is it okay now you can um, uh, use this pointer like a normal array so array one is actually make a for loop in age equals 0 8 less than 100 h plus plus and just make the array i equal to uh, the age times 2 alright and make another function which will just write out the array i 
nothing special we use that a lot of time all right and that's it but don't forget to delete it to delete an array you don't you shouldn't use delete itself you have to put a square bracket after it it will indicate so it will tell the delete that it is an array not just a single variable so delete uh, what was the name array okay and with this we delete the array f uh, wi which is in the free storage and we don't make a memory leak alright compile our program oh what is it so yeah this is not I as I usually use the I in my program as a loop variable because we already make an I this is H and this was the problem okay compile the program run the program and it's write out the numbers uh, actually every even number all right and that was the uh, tutorial remember that don't forget remember that don't forget to delete it because if you delete it you may cause a memory leak and everybody hate memory leaks I have a few program which have a memory leak and I hate the program which have a memory leak because they have a memory leak okay so don't forget to delete it never okay the the actually why is it why is the memory uh, why is this useful for us uh, it is the base of the of several things like the standard containers for example just an example because it I it's uh, allocate memory dynamically from the heap or other name free storage and and they store the data there and every time I push something to the standard container or uh, the container it will locate memory dynamically again it will pu pass that uh, that what I passed to the function and uh, yeah and next time I will uh, push something in it it will allocate a memory again it will uh, pass that something I passed in and yeah that's it basically all right then uh, that was just one example there is a numerous use of dynamic memory allocation we use the these in several times we use we use C++ uh, in our example for example the string itself use a dynamic memory allocation the vector use a dynamic memory allocation probably the IO stream use somewhere a dynamic memory allocation so everything is depend on ma dynamic memory allocation the old C way for dynamic memory allocation is the malloc like memory alloc a function and the free it is equal to delete although you shouldn't use it delete will do much more for you than uh, than the malloc and uh, free so it will check a lot of things uh, it will throw an exception if the memory cannot be allocated uh, std i think it is std colon colon bad alloc exception o I almost forget we I will make an exception handling tutorial because at least I talk two or three times about exception but uh, we don't catch any exception we don't throw any exception so we don't do nothing about exceptions we don't check exception even so yeah later I will do it but this is the last tutorial for today because I um, that okay <laughs> so uh, I think I covered everything uh, so the basics I wanted 
but uh, there are a few a few things that I didn't like uh, like the uh, new which don't give which don't throw an exception so exception free new uh, the new which allocate memory in an allocated but deleted space uh, yeah which allocated memory in in another space but this will this is a little more advanced uh, so yeah we don't really use it use it sometimes they will then you uh, open a book and watch it or type it in the Google and you will find it but the basic uh, allocation is the new and delete the new array so this and the delete array this will be the base of the memory allocation dynamic memory allocation which uh, which will store everything in the heap by the way if we are here uh, i just want to tell you about the memory so where does these uh, things stored in the memory so there is three th three basic memory storage tactic one is that the, the automatic so in g this will be stored in the automatic uh, memory which will be automatically created and it is belong to the program and the end of the scope it will delete uh, so it will destroy that memory allocation automatically you don't have to do anything just declare variable the other is the static variable uh, static uh, memory which is uh, used by the global object so if you declare something in here you and the static object uh, the static variables which I don't didn't speak about but uh, I will I I will all right and the third is the free storage which I just show you you have to and yeah uh, in this case it will be created when the program starts and it will be destroyed when the program ends so like here in the case of the free storage or heap it will be created uh, by the new keyword and it will be destroyed by the deli delete keyword there is no automatic uh, automatic de uh, destroy alright thank you for watching and have a great day